The guy over by Anthem has a rattlesnake that was at his place and he trapped it underneath a tote, but it's in his driveway and it's in the sun. He's trying to keep it cool. And now I got to race against the clock here to basically get there and catch that snake. They can die very easily when it get hot. So I'm heading towards Anthem. Something that's really surprising to a lot of people is that rattlesnakes and other snakes actually die really easily in the heat. The common belief is that they're just kind of out trying to get as much sun as they can or you know, soaking up that heat on the road at noon when it's 160 degrees on the surface. But rattlesnakes, if their body temperature gets over 105 degrees Fahrenheit for any length of time, it can be fatal. And if it's warmer than that, then it happens really fast. So this snake is in danger and the homeowner doesn't want it to get hurt. He's trying his best to keep it cool. And obviously we're not gonna suggest that he go and mess with a rattlesnake without the proper training or equipment. So we're just gonna hope for the best here and hopefully get to that snake before, um, before it succumbs to the heat. All right, people, what is up? I literally just made a conclusion video for that gopher snake that was in a pot. Now I'm back because I got another call. It's supposed to be a rattlesnake at like a front door or near a hose by a front door. I don't know, it was a little unclear. Either way, I'm headed to Scottsdale. Got a rattlesnake? All right. You said you bent over to use the hose and... Yeah, that's where we see a, a couple bites a year usually. Oh, great. Half. Definitely a diamond back. All right. Come on, buddy. little guy but at least a year old i'm gonna get rid of that basket yeah that's probably good another recommendation i'd make is um the reason he was in this corner in all likelihood was because of the water dripping right there so fix the spout fix the spout but just putting a uh, maybe a couple like little flagstones or, or pavers okay. under the spigot will make it so that instead of dripping and then soaking into the soil and creating a little wet spot there, okay. it'll drip and just evaporate. And okay. that's especially important in the summer um, because in the summer they're more, they're looking, for that they're looking for the moisture, they're looking for a wet spot on the ground to cool off, somewhere to get a drink. So um, that combined with the fact that this uh, corner, especially in the summer, is going to get shade basically all afternoon. Okay. Means that if there are snakes here, um, there's a good chance that they're going to end up in that corner. So I thought they liked the heat. So they have a temperature threshold. So once it gets above 90 degrees in the full sunlight, they basically have to find shade or okay. a, a, somewhere to cool off or otherwise they'll overheat and die. All right, I am just about there. And we are going to hope that this snake is still alive. Oh good, he's got it in the shade. Hi. Is he a big guy? Maybe. Okay. She's okay. Where was she at? I just kind of crawling across the driveway? Yeah, it wasn't rattling, so you know, yeah. I wasn't making any noise until I, you know, then I grabbed the broom and I tried to scoot her to, uh -huh. get, you know, to go out, and then she got pissed, of course. And yeah, she was rattling, so. They're just moving around a lot right now, yeah, so. <laughs> definitely Western Diamond, though? Yeah, Western Diamondback. Western yeah. Are they looking for or shade? Shade. shade, shade, yeah. So they're trying to get in the garage or the floor. Pretty much. I mean, it's just a, it's a, ca it's a cave. Yeah. It's a free cave. So where they normally live is in the, in the washes where the, where it like goes in and makes us caliche caves. Yeah, yeah. That's where they spend a lot of the later summer. So they're just eating all they can right now. But then, you know, in a couple of weeks, they're going to start really becoming mostly nocturnal. Okay. And you don't see them, you know, you see them in the early morning and all that, but we're kind of in that last stage of running into them for the most part. <laughs> all, right, well, that's all right. Here we are at our location spot. Got a pack rat nest here built. But uh, 
This is a pretty easy capture. We've got a little yearling western diamond back right there. And uh, he's going to go right in here. Should be pretty straightforward. All right, there we go. That's a snake out. And that's a snake being a little defensive here. He doesn't know that he's backing himself up right to his new home. So, so I'm gonna head back to my car and uh, get a drink of water and sign off. Peace. So if you can't tell by now, the single greatest factor that brings us to more homes than any other to catch rattlesnakes is heat avoidance. Whether it be that lantana that's under maintained or the hole under the shed or a leaky sprinkler, anything that a rattlesnake can do to stay out of the heat of the day in the desert and stay hydrated is gonna be a thing that they're going to use. And if that's at your house, that means then that's where you're gonna see a rattlesnake. So while I'm releasing this snake, here is a longer explanation of how this works. All right, got a little walk. I'm looking for deep cover where this snake can get out of the sun. It is still spring, it's not all that hot, but but the ground can be lethally hot right now for them. So even though the air is maybe 85 degrees, the ground temperature is much hotter, of course. Okay, so this is actually not a pack rat nest, but it will serve the same purpose here. This is debris from a flood, or a rack as it's called. So you can see how high the water got here at some point. Yeah, it's still somebody's toilet. But, and these are also the places that rattlesnakes will use to, to hide and a lot of the same, a lot of the same reasoning as they would for a pack rat nest. So I'm gonna gently scoop her up to make sure she gets into that shade. Oh, she's coming towards me. Well, she doesn't know any better. She's just kind of going the way that she thinks she can hide, but we gotta get her going the other way because that way is death, lady. We gotta make sure she gets in that cover. There we go. Go hide. There we go. A lot of effort to have her just crawl out into the sun and die, so we gotta make sure she goes the right way. Whew. And she'll be just fine in there. 